Section 4.3, Proofs. We are proving triangle coherence using SSS, which we'll find is the side-side-side postulate. But what we've noticed is that as we explore triangles, we discover that when we're proving two triangles congruent, we don't need to show that all six parts of each triangle is congruent. So we don't necessarily have to show that all three angles and all three sides are congruent. Let's take a look at what we have here. And hopefully what you see is that I have three side lengths, five, four, three in length, and three other side lengths, five, four, three in length. If I was to construct a triangle using these three set lengths, so no matter what, there we go, now I can construct this triangle however I want. But no matter how I construct it, I will always end up with a congruent triangle. And I can see in here that I have two congruent triangles. You can imagine if I were to rotate these, no matter how I put the three side lengths together, the triangles will always be congruent. And this leads us to this conclusion that if we're given three congruent sides, then we will always construct the same triangle. So if two triangles have all three sides congruent, then the triangles must be congruent, which is postulate 19, side, 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 or SSS, congruence postulate. And that says that if three sides of one triangle are congruent to three sides of a second triangle, then the two triangles are congruent. So if a, B, C, and X, Y, Z have three, have all matching congruent sides, and triangle A, B, C must be congruent to triangle X, Y, Z. And when stating this as a reason in proofs, we can abbreviate it as a side, side, side triangle congruence, or just side, side, side postulate. That works as well. Let's look at an example. In example one, I want you to determine if the following triangles are congruent. Then write the congruency statement. Make sure that you're matching the corresponding angles appropriately. So take a moment, work through this example, resume the video when you're ready to see the solution. In part A, Notice I have AB congruent to CD, and I also have AD congruent to CB. And that third side, BD, is congruent to itself, meaning that the three triangles have congruent side, or the two triangles have three congruent sides. So triangle A, B, D, and I want to make sure I match this appropriately, is congruent to triangle C, D, B. And that's my final answer. And this is by the side, side, side postulate. OK, for part B, I'm given points by their ordered pairs. So the first thing I want to do is to plot these points. On the left Cartesian plane, I'll plot points A, B, and C. 